Hello viewers, hello listeners, hello everyone. Thank you for joining me once again on Team Maps TV. Please don't forget to subscribe if you are coming for the first time. If you are regular, just to the usual, please like and comment and also share our video so that others may also see what we do. Because what we do is we give you current affairs in right now. So yes, the opposition citizens coalition for change leader Nelson Chamisa has reignited the winning hopes of millions of Zimbabweans who had lost hope of a change of government in the wake of a disputed 2023 presidential election outcome. The Zimbabwe Electoral Commission, the ZEC, declared President Emerson Nangagwa the winner of the presidential polls with 52.6% against Chamisa's 44%, a result which the Triple C leader challenged. A report by the Southern African Development Community, the Stadak Election Observation Mission, headed by Zambian former President Nevas Mumba, described the recent plebiscite as shambolic and lacking credibility, freeness and fairness. The Mumba mission says the outcome of Zimbabwe's chaotic elections did not meet the country's constitution, electoral law and the Sadat principles and guidelines governing democratic elections. Sadat is reportedly closely engaged in the Zimbabwe situation behind the scenes amid a frantic diplomatic lobby to boldly confront the country's post-election crisis, which has divided the nation and the region while attracting international attention. Posting on X, Chamisa hinted Triple C was making progress on the diplomatic front after shoving a court challenge to overturn the status quo. A new hope for Zimbabwe fellow citizens. Your victory can be denied or delayed. It's sealed and guaranteed. The season of the new is upon us. Zimbabwe shall be known as a blessed nation with a delightful and a great people. He said Triple C will dictate terms and conditions of the talks to resolve the political impasse brought by disputed election results. When you know the full script, you don't panic. It will all end in unprecedented joy and celebration. We have a solid plan, never on their terms, but on our own terms, and they know it. Where Zimbabweans are agitating for a change of guard at the helm of the nation following years of Sanupiev unabating plunder, which reached unprecedented levels after the 2017 bloodless coup that ushered Munangagwa into office. Media reports suggest there are various secret consultations and lobbying going on to ensure the troika of the organ on politics, defense and security cooperation meets before an extraordinary summit of the head of states to tackle the Zimbabwe crisis. The Tsadik troika is constituted by Namibia, Zambia and Tanzania. Zambian President Hakainde Ichilema is the chair. The Sadak Troika of the summit entails the Democratic Republic of Congo, the GRC, Angola, the current chair, and the Zimbabwe, the incoming chair. A diplomatic tiff between the two neighboring states is ensuing with threats. Zambia would arrest some Zanupiev senior officials the moment they step onto their story.